Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for Wednesday, May 1st of 2024. Many blessings to you all as we move forward in this brand new month, brand new energy, allowing ourselves to release all that no longer serves us. This is a reading for all sun, moon, and rising signs. That means if you'd like to have a personal one, please pop into my website, royalmystic.com, and I'll be more than happy to assist you. I'll be looking forward to doing your reading. Remember, I've got a little special running down below, so please pay attention to that and read all the details so that it'll help you know where and when to enter in the code. And I am offering the savings because I love all of you and I want everyone to have an opportunity to be able to do these readings with me. I know sometimes we get in a pinch and uh, I'm no stranger to couponing. So <laughs> I always appreciate a good coupon. I hope you do too. So we'll move right on into the reading, cranking up our relentless optimism, our positively positiveness, using the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to focus with intention to create our best possible lives now. As we move forward in the energy, let's see what the cards have to say. Oh, hey. Oh, double hay. We have the chariot, which is leaps and bounds, going over the tops of all the things that are trying to prevent us from succeeding. We are miles, miles apart from it, going over it smoothly and easily without even coming close to brushing the top of those things. And this is Elvira Knievel. That's my affectionate name for her. <laughs> As she jumps the great divide, allowing the successful energy of this cancer major arcana into your life is a must. Embrace it and roll with it because you've also got a clearing energy of the death card, which means sweeping all the things that have been in the way in blocking your path and holding you back can no longer remain because this is the cosmic garbage man, Scorpio major arcana coming in to clear up the joint so that you can move easily without tripping over the old stuff. So release it and let it go. There's, I think there's a song. Please release me. You know, the song, let me go as my parents song. <laughs> yeah. Now that I'm older, it's like, okay, that, a different message than what I thought it was, right? So let's see what our second set of cards. Oh, hey, we will take a Ten of Pentacles. Yes, and yes, we release all that old stuff in order to receive this abundance. This is the absolute best alignment, releasing all lack, being in a place where abundance is flowing easily and frequently directly to us, and we receive it. Divine Spirit. Spirit guides, gods, and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon, and rising signs to have the information they seek, to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we move right on in with our three cards down. And our underlier is oh, big doings. Hello, Wheel of Fortune. That is a 10, Roman numeral 10, a little X there. So having the energy of this Wheel of Fortune is the breakthrough that you've been hoping and praying for. It's going to cut you free from all karmic debts and karmic holes. All red lights turn green. All doors open, including doors you aren't even aware of. And you don't have to chase it down and find the doors. The doors open directly in front of you intentionally. So what wonderful energy to come in to help us move forward. Absolutely. Always welcome. Now, sometimes it seems a little chaotic because that's a pretty fast turnaround. So don't be so stuck in the old paradigm that you can't quickly shift into the new one, right? Affluence. We haven't seen this one in a hot minute. I think it's very apropos. It's a word that means very wealthy. Okay. I choose to be debt free and to live an affluent and healthy life. That means you're free to gallivant, learn and travel, do the things that you want to do without anything holding you back. So we love the affluent lifestyle and the debt-free energy because that gives us the place where we can really truly experience freedom. Communication. 
I effectively communicate and clarify my needs in order to achieve my goals. The universe is always listening, my darlings. You're either speaking against yourself or for yourself. Stop the, stop the first one. Don't speak against anything. Be in a place where you compliment yourself internally. Don't criticize your decisions. You did the best you can with what you had at the time. And you do forward. Do forward. You do better as you go forward. <laughs> Got a little jumbled up there, but y'all know what I mean. So that's the energy of allowing yourself to really internally communicate what you want to see externally. That's how it works. It doesn't start from the outside in. It starts from the inside out. So allow yourself that beautiful blessing that we are all given in the magnitude of being able to draw what we want in. And it's giving you a time frame in the near future. So you're getting assistance in the angelic realm and they're working on it. Basically, that's what that means. They are working on it. It's on its way. And we have our sacred geometric activation energy. I swear, I don't know how... <laughs> I'm going to have to just start putting this card on the table and then shuffling to see what else comes up. <laughs> We're st So I'm going to take this as a really good sign that something we are bringing in, we are manifesting, we are holding it in the energy. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, mine is abundance. It don't have to be kept a secret. Um, being in the energy of a free flowing abundance, we receive it. It's materializing as we speak. The frequency of realization supports the internal process of becoming aware of our heart centered truth, as well as the external process of becoming our highest expression in this world. So when the realization shows up, it means it's actually starting to appear in the natural. So we like that it keeps coming. That's a real strong confirmation. We love it. And we have judgment. Let go of your fear of being judged. You are good enough! Exclamation point. It's time to unlock all you have kept safely locked away in your heart. Your true essence and potential have been restricted by structure and method for long enough. There is no right or wrong way. Just be you. This is it. You don't have to be anybody else. You don't have to be like anyone else. You don't have to compare yourself to anyone else. You're in your own race, my darlings. You don't have any competition. The only competition you have is in your head. You're competing with yourself. So don't make it so hard on yourself. Patience. Oh, patience goes a long way. Patience is required at the moment. You may feel like things are not moving as fast as you would like, yet there is a lot going on energetically. The current situation causing concern is evolving positively. Let go and have patience. You will eventually realize that this whole event was in fact a blessing. All is perfect as it is. Trust. You are eternally loved and guided. Yes, yes, and yes. We received divine, beautiful intervention and assistance. And it looks like we've got some big movers and shakers. So let's see what our cards have to say. Oh, heck to the yes. We have the nine of cups, which is your heart's desire being granted. Thank you. Thank you, universe. Celebratory energy. Feeling very satisfied, safe, and grounded. Love it. Thank you. We will take it. And we have... The Two of Cups, which is soulmate energy, soul partnership energy, and it can mean soul ascension when your higher self is kind of getting in the way of your ego and starting to run the, run the show instead of the ego being the one in charge. But as a partnership, this means it's very harmonious. Um, there might be challenges because it is a soulmate thing. Um, soulmates can push your buttons a little easier than the rest. However, this is also Vulcan mind meld energy, which where you have your, your beautiful connections and both of you are running in the same direction at the same time for the same goal. So partnership or relationship, all good. And the energy of the Princess of Cups. Now, this is the 
demonstration of the universe saying you will be provided for. There is nothing to fear. This is them making that promise. You will be fed. Here's your cup. We will extend every good thing to you. You will be taken care of. You just have to have the patience to allow yourself to be in a place of not trying to rush it, right? And allow yourself to see it come to fruition. So many blessings to you all in this very nice energy to start our month of May. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Namaste, my friends.